Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Tashi. It's been a while since I've been in any thrift store. So today I thought it'd be fun for y'all to come along as I look for a vintage home decor. Now, I gave myself a budget to spend up to only $10, which I mastered that y'all. And I'm just so very proud of myself. And I didn't pick up a lot of things, which is great, but these items are very particular to me. So make sure y'all stick to the very end of this video. I will share all of my finds with y'all. But in the meantime, let's Let's jump right into some thrifting at my favorite antique shop. Right away, I spotted these beautiful floral vintage dishes. The set was priced for $20, y'all, which is a great price. But my overall budget for this particular day was $10. So, of course, I didn't buy them. My nieces enjoy crafting quite often, so whenever I'm out thrifting, I do try to find little craft projects I think they'll love, and maybe I can store them away for their birthday or holiday gifts and save money in that way. But this area always have unique selections for arts and crafts. Now this was the highlight of my thrifting experience y'all this beautiful selection of vintage milk glass now i love the variety that i saw in this particular hutch like this one in particular it was priced for only ten dollars and y'all when i return to the thrift store i'm definitely going to pick up a few but i didn't buy any on this particular day so stay tuned i am planning on decorating my hutch with some of these beautiful pieces These planters are amazing for my plants. I wasn't sure of the price, but of course I wasn't going to buy them on this particular day. But I have my eye on them. Hopefully they'll still be available next visit. And y'all, it was a lot of stuff that I really have my eye on when I come back. Like this cream dish here. I thought it'd be great to house some fruit in or I could use it as a cake stand as well for only $12. And I also noticed this not, I don't think this is vintage. This is an antique piece here for $125. It's a beautiful rustic cabinet. Um, not sure what I'll use it for, but I just love to look at it. right into this haul i don't have many items to share with y'all and my total overall was eight dollars and change so 
I got a good deal. Now, this jar here was priced for $5. Of course, I didn't pay that amount. And I love using glass jars to house cotton balls in, Q-tips. Even if I'm making jam or anything, I store it in here after I clean it and place it in the fridge. As y'all can see around the ridges, there's no rust or anything. So this is a fairly new jar. So whenever y'all are out thrift shopping, whether you're in an antique shop or Goodwill, make sure you check out jars. Make sure they're glass with the lid. Definitely comes in handy. All right, so the next item I'm gonna share with y'all is this vintage washboard. I thought it'd be perfect to use in my laundry room area, which I haven't touched yet. Now, the spring break is pretty much over in South Florida by the time y'all see this video. My plan was to renovate my entire laundry room, y'all. Deep clean it, paint it, everything, but my husband, y'all, he's my backup, and I didn't want him to have to work on his spring break. He's a teacher, math middle school teacher to be exact, but I thought this would be beautiful, like a little vintage inspiration piece for my laundry room area. And I am gonna use um, a little bit of artwork as well, just to jazz it up a little bit. Now, so the next couple items I'm gonna show y'all are birthday related. Whenever I go to antique shops, thrift stores or whatever, I always try to look for early birthday holiday gift ideas. Great way to save money and save time as well. So I have this beautiful leather little pouch here. I thought my oldest niece would love it because she loved butterflies. My niece's style are similar to mine. She loves all things vintage looking and pretty much like this in a way because I love it, but my phone couldn't fit in it. So I'm giving it to her. I also know that she loved crafts which I used to love to sew and knit everything. And I think I'm going to get back into that hobby, but um, I paid a dollar for this little cross stitch style kit here. It's originally from Hobby Lobby and I love that I only paid a dollar for it, y'all. Everything is intact, as you can see. Another perfect birthday gift idea and I can cross that off of my to-do list. Now I just got to focus on my other nieces. Oh, and this came with it as well, like a little um latch hook i think she's gonna love this whole set all together y'all right, thank you so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this video now there were a few more items that i wanted to pick up for my home but today wasn't the day based on my budget but i have my eye on that milk glass y'all that whole set of milk glass vases i thought they were so beautiful for my hutch and i did plan on buy-in one day those floral dishes as well. I'll insert the clip if y'all missed it while I was shopping. But now I'm thinking that I don't want those colorful floral dishes. I'm not sure. I noticed that I'm kind of simple in a way. I'm not just into white everything, but I love a calm home and I love accents of color. I can't have bold color right before me. So Y'all, this is my style that I've noticed that, that I'm more drawn to. Just a more subtle, warm, cozy kind of home. So I may keep my white dishes that's currently up there in my hutch area. And I'm loving it for the spring season as well. I have my plant that's overgrowing. It's just so beautiful sitting on top of my hutch. And like the saying is, less is more, right? I appreciate y'all so much. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. I have lots more to share with y'all. Be blessed everyone and I will talk with y'all in the next video.